think I've heard enough of your opinions, miss. Hmm? Is that so? Yeah. Now make yourself useful. And the first part of useful is not driving me insane with your constant Arthur complaining. Morgan. I ain't complaining. You are! Complain, complain, complain! I ain't complaining, I'm just saying. You're not saying, miss. You're shouting! Who's the other no? Oh my god. You damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. Guys? Come near me, sailor, and I'll slap you up. Guys? What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. Yes? My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Damn I don't mind. Mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife. <laughs> Enough, both of you. Well, come with me then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. She's more than capable. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah. Sure. Here's my list, and... Can you post this letter for me? While you're there? Sure. Could do anything else for oh, you. Princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? I'm Sadie. So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. Where are we going, Rhodes? Where's the closest store? You cool down then yet? I guess. No, I ain't no skull yet. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat and half wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Oh, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. <laughs> Just got a point. Letter reader. I wanna know what's in it. Dear Aunt Kathy. It's a good imitation. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time. So I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. What oh, name? That, that's Dutch's idea. All males be sent to the same alien. Whenever we set up somewhere new, the Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay. Is that where we're going? Not there? Is that Rhodes? It's got to be all right. Am I going in? You going in? What are we doing? Shoot the shopkeeper while you. No, are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. You know, T. Rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. And no guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Where's the post office? 
back this way. Oh, bit of a rough entrance. <laughs> Yo. Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Uh. There you go. There's Mr. Pearson's letter. Okay, no trouble. I Thank thought you. I was also Bye checking now. to see if I've got any mail. I take it I haven't. It's a lot of shopping. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Good catch. Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Yeah. So, you get everything? I think so. You change your clothes. And some yeah. New clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. What the harmonica? Is that in there? I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eyes oh, is this another out? little quest I thing? No yeah. Pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Oh, I don't mind. Hey there. Yeah. Hey. What uh what you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lamorne Raider country. Keep it cool. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. Fuck off. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Nice, that's what I wanted to do. It's a bit of a crap shot, though. That's how you do it. What the hell was that? They was gonna rob us. Nah, she's right off her. Why would you get off your horse? <laughs> oh, he ran someone over. Well, that. Some action, Why are we getting off? You okay there, sir? How do you sort myself? Up the bump. Have the bub. What are you doing? We should get out of here. Finishing them off. Why? Because you caused enough trouble already. Oh, drive. I'm fine. Good. Just driving really slowly. Bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. Did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Doug? Oh shit. Maybe. If he asks. But. Maybe not. Maybe. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway. Don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled wide. Making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. Nah, it's, it's just full of shit drawings. Okay. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Shut Not up. Bad. Well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but. I'd be lying. I 
I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> <sighs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, though, by the way. Cool. That was a nice quick mission. What else is in camp? I'll just do these to get them off the minimap. Tilly? I'll play dominoes. How are you? Alive. And you? Fine. Let me ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think, as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. Who was that? Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Was she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. We'll just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. I don't remember how to play dominoes. Can't believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. Can I zoom in? Another easy enough. I'll keep my eye out for you too. Okay, another person wants something else. Right, what the fuck? How do you play this? Hello. I have the highest double. No, it's gone. Do I? What do I play? I don't understand. How do I play dominoes? <laughs> I'll just play this. Fuck it. Sure. So why has she got five points? I don't understand. There? I think like you, you have to match the numbers, right? So I scored nothing. What? Why am I not scoring any points? That twinkle in their eyes again. There that we go. Means trouble. I hear you. Why have I just scored some? Got ten points for that. I'm done, Domino. That's as it should be. Come here. I don't get it. Okay, now we're drawing. If the Pinkertons could see you now, killer, bank robber, Domino. What? Player. I don't understand. Fuck this. Not the way you wanted to get arrested, though. Imagine the newspaper headlines. Well, keep your eye out then. Let's got that off the map anyway. What's up? Yeah. So, tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> You ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Hmm. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did, then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, you could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean. <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You're really annoying. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Is this my horse? Yeah. Come on, girl. Right, follow me. Hey. Alright, lead then. How 
far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. We're back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a lot of nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, as from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me, he said as much. I'm God knows sure. what. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking, about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden. Right, so that's how outside camp. Yeah, all yeah, the money is split up. How many times you have to tell me? I didn't know that. What's that box boy is tent for then? Camp funds, supplies, and it's basically like. to tell me this, isn't it? In fact, you don't know that, suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way, don't you worry. We have an evil offer. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. Whoa. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got days, we got everything. Damn, we need to stop running into animals. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Still don't know who that is. strung me up. Beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. Including Dutch. He doesn't blame himself. How far is it now? Not too much for them. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. This place better be worth it, Sean. Let's leave the horses here and go the rest on foot. I okay. want them to hear us coming. Yep. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. Put a mask on. Put your mask on, Sean. Sean. Don't think he has. Though he said he's going to talk to them, right? So maybe he shouldn't put a mask on. Oh, okay. Look. There's one on the outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do it. are talking. You hang back. Sitting there with a fucking gun, mate. Uh, no, oh, I didn't. I ain't got my sniper rifle. I wanna give you about five seconds to Shit. get the hell off my property, boy. Shit. Okay. Didn't need my help. I'm very subtle, though, was it? Anyone else? What are they doing in the woods? I'm sure that guy knew what's going on. Oh. Right, 
guess we should give the place a look, see what we can find. <laughs> I forgot about that detail. I was wondering why that guy wasn't doing anything. It's been surrendering. Ah, damn it. There ain't much. Ah, back to camp. I uh, fucked up. Should have kept one alive. I forgot. So I've gone in here? I mean, the stash box here. How did you miss that? What is it? Double action revolver. Is that any good? Jesus, this was dirty. What's the stats? What's the little diamond next to it? What does that mean? Seems alright. We just didn't go away um, empty handed. Should we go talk to um, the Greys before talking to Dutch? She did ask us to do that. Sound noise. Ooh. Okay, why don't you just show the damn lock and be done with it? And have it bounce off and hit me? You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, sometime before I turn too old to spend it would be nice. I don't see you doing nothing except talking all manner of crap. Hey, I got the safe. And I outran the sheriff in the wagon. I'm getting real sick of you right about now. Oh, He's going to hit him. Twice now. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, look at that. I told you. Huh. Well, it took you long enough. Jesus. Hello. Oh, what do we got here? You open it for me. Yes, sir. Very kind of you both. What we got? Twenty dollars. Is that all? Is that worth putting in a safe? Right, I think we're going to that plantation house up there, aren't we? Yeah, we're going through here. I'm not sure how welcoming these people are, but we'll find out. What do you want, boy? This is private property. Interlopers are not permitted. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Damn it, Lee. All right, have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. Is it that easy to get in past these guards? Like, you don't require any proof? What are you waiting for? The sheriff? No. Thank you. Hello? Is this who I'm looking for? You want to go out to the, the sheriff's place. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. What am I doing? Excuse me, <laughs> We friends? What's going on? but he is open. <laughs> we don't get a lot of traffic in, in here. Lot. And suddenly, there's a whole phalanx of mysterious okay. but strangely helpful out. Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What, what do you think secret? I'm looking for? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray. Son yeah. of Tavish Gray. Remember this. Nephew oh. of Lee Gray, the Fucking sheriff. Romeo and Juliet. Grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. 
I've got money. How much? We grays, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet. Please. Ah, uh, I remember this. Got to sneak in without them noticing me. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. Yep. So Four buttons. And good luck. Oh, these families must be minted. These places are proper nice. Okay, I'm not meant to be spotted on here though, right? So, should we get off? Probably. Maybe I can um, change the map to, map to uh, expand it. So I can get a better layout of where everyone is. I'll keep, keep sneaking. This fog is uh, handy. Okay, got one guard coming up. Just about to see him through the tree. He's going to the right, so let's go to the left. Okay, there's another guard to my left, so let's keep going forward. I always turned around. Where is he? Beyond that little outbuilding there. It's okay. Got another one around this corner. It's actually coming round the corner. Fuck. Is this bush good enough to hide behind? This one ain't supposed no. to be here! This is a private plantation. Get out of here now. Okay. Hey, hey I'm just a tourist. Calm down. Wraith White Manor, ain't it? Oh, Dave. Right about it in my pocket, guy. Do you mind if I tour the grounds? You're a tourist? What? You think this is Paris, France? Get out of here. Good day, then. Am I okay to leave, then? I did try to hit him. Is he going to chase me off? Okay, I'll run. I'm going. Keep going and don't come back. Okay. <laughs> Try that again. It's not um it's not like Assassin's Creed we can hide in the bush. I think we can try again? Yeah? No? Is that the guy who's waiting, looking at me? Okay, it's turned around. Try a wider berth. There's one guy on the opposite side of this building, he's walking the other way. So you can go straight on. Okay, so that gazebo over there, so. I think I'm golden. Might as well just swim across this. As long as there's no gators in here. Then I've made a terrible mistake. No. Okay. Hello. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for Very you. Very relaxed oh. about meeting just a stranger and popping up in front of you in your gazebo. A gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> Well, it's not from me, it's from, uh... From Bo. Oh, he is so... Strange? Well, yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different, but if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like... Rhodes? Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are... are... There's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No. 
Not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well. That's okay, you can say that. Maybe a bit. But here. I don't mind. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Fucking postman. Leave the area without being seen. How big's the area? Jesus. Alright. Uh, better off just going south. Quickest way out of the area. Easy. Person knows Penelope. Uh, in the loo. What the fuck? Why has this been uh, chained up? I'm glad I wasn't in first person mode. That would probably scared the shit out of me. Hello? What the fuck? What the fuck? Brave weight secret. One, two, three. I'm sketching the sand. What does it say? Found a crazy young woman, real strange looking. Looks in a kind of outhouse hidden on Brave weight Manor. World ain't a kind place to folk like her. I let her out. No, is there a lock that I can shoot? No. Not sure what's going on there. Is there something that I can figure out? So that's what I mean about not finding everything in this game, so I do not remember that I played before. 